It's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for watching. Today's prayer, I'm calling it Human Anger. Human Anger. I'm going to read James 1, verse 19 from the NIV. James 1, verse 19 from the NIV. And it says, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Again, James 1, 19, NIV says, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Human anger. It is a very tough job to keep from getting angry when something just push your buttons the right way. Some people know how to push your buttons the right way. It could be somebody in your family, some of your friends, some of your co-workers, your boss, somebody you're in the organization with, you know, somebody on your team. And they know just how to push your buttons. And you have to fight it, fight from getting so angry and reacting on it. <laughs> And it is a job. And it's just, I'm telling you, it's one of those human emotions that, you know, it is tough. Sometimes you can even get caught off guard. You ever seen someone to explode and they were like, you know what? I exploded and I shouldn't have exploded and I just was caught off guard. I wasn't expecting this and so I just went to anger fit. We have to work on it. And it is a day-to-day challenge because as soon as you think you over with this right here with this anger like okay i got this i know this person coming here they come right here and they know i got my white um shoes on my white sneakers and they're gonna step on them you know and that's gonna tick me off you know they know it they 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 gonna come and they're gonna say excuse me they're sorry but i think they doing it on um, purpose this is gonna drive me now every time i wear a pair of white shoes i mean i can wait five years of putting on a pair of white shoes. I put on a white pair of shoes, that person is going to show up and they're going to step on it. You know, it is just like, you know, you just, you just like, like know this and you put your white shoes on, you hadn't worn them in six months and here come that person, you hadn't seen that person at your, um, your job for the last couple of weeks. You know, they were off on vacation or something. You put your white shoes on, here they come. Oops, I stepped on your shoes. I'm sorry. You know, like I'm almost like, okay, that, that was clutchy. I didn't mean to do it. And you just know it's going to put you in a rage. <laughs> so, if you know that, you have to prepare for that. You know, so you know what? I should be able to wear my white shoes if I, I want to. So you know what? That person come on, um, come around and say, hold on, let me take off my shoes. Or you can say, you know what? If they step on it, they're just shoes. They're, they're just they're just shoes. I can wipe them off. So we have to learn to deal with our anger, however we can deal with it, how, how we can funnel another emotion, however. But it's not easy because those things that make us mad, that, that, that like I said, that poke all the right um, button, you know, it it, it, woo, it just really does them to you. And sometimes you may have a, um, like I said, it could be somebody, a mate. It could be a husband or wife that know how to poke your button. They know it's just what to say. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? To, you know, to, to, get, to get you started. They know, you know, they could just, you know, be sitting around and say, yeah, um, you know, everybody's there, you know, at the house um, having a good time, you know, playing games, fellowship or whatever it is. And just, you know, just to, to set that person buttons off, the um the wife or the husband can yell out. Let's say, I'm going to just say the, the, um, the husband yells out, oh, this is a good cake. Who um cooked it? And somebody says, oh, um, Sally Sue cooked it, whoever. And they're like, Oh, oh, really? So good. So we sure don't taste like them, them other dry cakes I'm used to eating. And so, you know, it would ever say dry, you know, the cum is directed at, like, the, the wife knows it's directed at her or directed at her mother cakes or her sister cakes over there, you know? And it just, like, punched the butt, like, why? Why did he even have to say this? He didn't have to say that. And he knows it's going to set me off. And I don't want my my um, my guests to see me to, to go off on him, you know? So it's just kind of funny. People know how to poke your um, buzz in poke it and poke it and they punch them and they poke them and they turn them and they twist them and, and it's just it's just a work but the thing is we have to grow and that person we know we can pray for that person to grow too but that's up to them they choose to grow or not so whatever it is that whatever anger whoever you know whatever the things that make us make us angry it could just be somebody 
driving by, you know, cut you off like while you drive. You know how somebody pull out in front of you and it wasn't their turn to go? That could um be it. And just mess up your whole day. You know, some people get so angry they follow the people and chase them and get into arguments and just, you know, carry on to fights and just, you know, senseless stuff. So it's many reasons why we should um control our anger, but sometimes we have to know how to find it a different direction. We have to work on it. Say, so, you know what? You no, know, in the event this happened, what can I do? Or so you know what? So you have sometimes you have to learn to say, you know, it's just materialistic things, or it's just, you know, this, or you know, I can get another, or here can that person, that's what they're gonna do. But they're not gonna bother me today. I'm not letting that person bother me today. Or you say, Okay, my best friend, come I know she gonna ask me for ten dollars. I know it, and I know I just saw buying buying some um buying some um some um some hat of products um yesterday i know i just said now she broke now she want me to give ten dollars to get something oh you know and it just sets you on fire but know that we have to grow and like i said and it's like that's just one of our humans emotion but we have to take it to god we have to pray and when them times like those events happen or whatever happened to make us go off because you know we really have to like hold on to like the lord said, lord please get, give me a scripture give me somebody to just say something positive let me, let me pick up my phone and read the scripture let me do something because i'm about to you know say explode and so you don't want to um explode and you want to um you, you know saying like say you want you you want to do you want to grow and do things the way God wants you to handle things. And God knows, we're, he knows we're human, but he wants to grow. That's not a screw. Well, I'm human. I can just do, I just blow up and, you know, and I and fight everybody I want to fight and tell them off and cuss them out and, you know, what I want to do because I want to do it because I'm human, God. You know, you made me like this. No, don't settle for that. You know, God made you like this because you're human. Work on it. So that way God can do some things in your life. And that way he can um, give you some of these, you know, God's a good, I'm a great guy. He, he blesses us when we don't even deserve it. But some things that, you know, that, that I have found in my own walk, like the, the more I seek God, the more I hunger and thirst and, you know, and just open myself and slow down and, and work on some of these things and to grow God, just, just do all kind of amazing things. And it's like, oh, wow, God, you know, man, I wish I would start doing this a hundred years ago, you know, <laughs> but so you, but what I'm saying is you wish you started had done this many years ago or that you had this revelation that, oh, if I, if I would have worked at this stuff, some of the things in my life would have been different, you know, and so that's what I'm saying. So I'm going to um pray. Father, I come to you, stand on James 1 and 19. In your word it says, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Father, I know that you know that human anger is so real. And I just want to thank you for giving me my temperament. But I do know even that, that that needs to be worked on. And the things that they, that, that just punch my buttons or twist them or however or the um the circumstance i may come across that i know how to just chill take it to you and just you know saying go with the flow and not you know saying to to mess up my day or or to to get all involved in to foolishness and and it doesn't even matter that i should use that energy and time to focus on you so, Father, I thank you, and may I continue to grow, to be quick to listen, and slow to speak, and slow to become angry. So, Father, I thank you, and I love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And so, so just remember, remember that quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. You know, that's that's a job, like I said, within it, <laughs> within, it, within itself. So, just work at it. And, I mean, you can do it. You can improve. Improve every little, every bit, little bit of improvement. It's, it's always good. Just a little bit every day, every, you know what I'm saying, every year, just a little bit. I mean, you're getting better. So the whole purpose of this walk is to to get better, to grow better, to grow strong, stronger. So do it. If you came across this video and you do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you have to do is repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And if you already have a relationship with Jesus Christ, continue to grow it. Learn to be quick to listen. Learn to be slow to speak. Learn to be slow to anger and so just you know just learning things grow don't be that 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 person say well i love the lord and i don't change i hadn't changed anything in 20 years have you not worked on anything in 20 years have you not worked on anything in, in within the last year or the last you know five months or however you should you should always be trying to grow 
and find a scripture to work on put it nice you know what i'm gonna work on this scripture um this month you know you you may you may excel and you may not you know what i'm gonna come back to that one and work on it uh again a couple of weeks or higher more um but you just keep on growing what i'm saying don't let this be uh uh not a walk or stand still you you want this to be your journey you don't want to be a, a journey and you just standing still you want to be walking in and moving so that's why i say your walk with the lord so grow to say just grow grow be the brightest light you can be read your bible walking in, in obedience and pray 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 and fast fast is, the lord leads you to um to fast and there's so many different ways people fast fast you know praise worship whatever the lord put on your heart to do do it and let him manifest himself in your life i'm dr lee thank you for watching let go let god and keep it moving take care